Sometimes when you go summer fluke fishing, you get out there, you just nail the big ones from the start. And some days it's a grind and you got to get through all the shorts. Well, can you guess what today is going to be for me? Oh my gosh. Now, for this day, I'm out with Ed Gobo, the owner of Captain Hag's Tackle, and Billy Ackerman, who's out for the first oh time God. on his new Old Town Big Water Kayak. So, we're out there, and we have that. this plan that we're going to just drift the incoming tide. We're going to go in, and we're going to yeah. hit several spots. We're going to cover a lot of territory. But, as you can see, this early morning bite is just producing tiny fluke, <laughs> tiny sea bass, and... It's a lot of hits, but it's just not a lot with fish. great quality to it. It's little. Hey, it's on the tequila sunrise. Now this right now is still early in the day and what you notice is we're getting an aggressive bite or a lot of hard strikes from these small fluke. I mean these things are just tiny. They're actually embarrassing but you'll also see that I'm foul hooking a lot of them and I think a big part of that is the size of the jig and the grub are really geared towards those larger fish. The, the, the slot and the over slot fish for New Jersey so 17 plus. But I think what they're doing is they're striking at it. It's too big for them and they're swimming over top and I'm setting the hook as if they have it in their mouth and I'm just grabbing it right behind the head every time and you can see these are terrible but we're getting to the top of the tide and the start of the outgoing so these smaller fish are going to start to disappear. That's ridiculous. Now we start to get into some better fish so watch the bite on this one. It's going to be different than that aggressive bite. It's just sitting on there right now and I was just lifting it slowly until I felt it off the bottom and then I set the hook on it. Decent. It might be a slot. All right, buddy, what are you gonna measure? Oh man, 17 and three quarters. Oh no, it's 18, I gotta take the grip out to measure. Where most of the fish that I catch I'm just putting it on the bump board with the grips and the lure still in its mouth because they're usually not on the border. But with this year, 2022 New Jersey regulations, you've got this slot. It needs to be between 17 and under 18. So if it's close, you better take that grip out and you better make sure because Shit. anything in its mouth is gonna make it a little bit bigger because the mouth won't be able to totally close. So I have to make some adjustments on this one and it, it turns like, out it's gonna end up on the correct like side a, of 18. Uh, the width of the... 40 pound leader from 18. And again, I left the hook in its mouth and it's still measuring just under 18. So I'm confident this is a slot fish. I measure it later and it definitely is. And to go along with the sea bass that I've been catching intermittently and sea robins, you get a surprise fish every now and then and this is definitely one of them. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Now this is not the target species for the day, but basically where I am, right at the junction of two major channels, I'm not surprised to be pulling this in right now, but decent size for this time of year in backwater.
back onto the target species, Fluke, and notice the bite on this one was again, nope. the really soft bite, yep. just kind of laying there. I raise the tip and then slam it. And it turns out to be a nice one, nicer than I thought it was when I first hooked it. Oh no, it's good. It's a good one. Billy is right next to me and he wants to see if I can net this because I'm notoriously horrible at netting and eh, not very good, but I get it. Good one. So I got an over. I thought it was small. You know what it did? It hooked, it, it bit and just hung. Think shine uh, grub. We'll get the captain hanging that is Billy right in front of me, and I want you to watch the boat right behind him coming through with 900 horsepower. No reason he took it now. It doesn't look like he's right on top of him, but he is. The wide angles don't make it look like it's as close as it actually is. Man, the way he threw on him and that Carolina skiff in the background was absolutely ridiculous. People need to learn how to boat and get the hell off the All water. Right, this is going to actually measure in at over 20 and a half inches. Now notice the bite on this one, very sluggish. It just grabbed, held, and then I slammed it once I pulled it off the bottom and it tried to regain the bottom. Nice hook set on it and a pretty nice fight out of this. Now this is lighter than what I was using earlier in the day or at various times during the day, so I don't have the drag set perfectly. It's gonna be taking a little bit of line, but it's a strong fish, a nice fish, and uh, really happy to go. Even though I can't keep it, it's another over for the day. Halfway decent net job, not anything to be proud of, but I didn't lose the fish. So I'm gonna measure this, even though I know it's going to be an over. I already have an over for the day and I can't keep it. But you can see that picked up that swimming mullet, the pink one on the top hook, the teaser, and it's gonna measure out nicely at over 19 inches. So this is really the day that I had. It was a pretty decent day, a little bit of a grind. If you want to check out another video on flounder fishing in the backwaters, it's popping up on the screen right now, along with the subscribe button and a playlist that might be of interest to you. So I'll see you in the next video.